And that's my seven tips for sales success. Phil, it feels a little cold. I don't think the audience likes me. Really? Why is that? Well, I'm not getting any feedback. For all I know, I could be talking to myself. Well, webinars are great because it actually saves you time and travel, it increases your accessibility and your reach with your audience. But the trade-off is you don't get to feel the vibe of the audience. So perhaps it's like being a TV newsreader and instead of talking one to many, you think about it as talking one to one. That's right. Mike, I think you need my three tips to translate your presenting awesomeness into great webinars. Awesomeness. Is that a word? Not really, I just made it up, but it sounds good. Hmm. Tip one, you've got to have a good dynamic, which means you've got to keep your presentation moving to compensate for that extra distance between you and your audience. Tip number two, you need to put in a bit of extra planning. So things like understanding your audience and actually building your PowerPoint slides properly. That way you make sure you have that extra dynamic. Now you can have elements of spontaneity in your webinar, but you can't go in and expect to wing the whole thing. TV newsreaders wouldn't wing it, would they? No, and I'm glad that analogy works for you. That's great. Tip number three, don't throw out endless pieces of information because you can do death by PowerPoint in webinars as well. So just concentrate on a couple of key points and put extra detail and colour around each one. So it's just like the TV news where the TV newsreader reads the headlines and then the story rather than just the headline. Yeah that analogy it's really you thanks Phil now when you're doing webinars your audience has a lot of potential distractions for example 90% of Redback's clients admit to checking their emails while they're on a webinar so as a presenter you've got to work extra hard to keep them engaged so Mike what were my three tips again keep your presentation moving do effective planning to make sure that happens and don't deliver death by PowerPoint Awesome, so you've mastered the basics now and you're well on your way to becoming a webinar pro. Ah, yes, and always read like a TV newsreader. Phil, I suppose that means that webinar presenters could be wearing anything underneath the desk, couldn't they? Yeah, look, Mike, I think it's time we moved on from that newsreader thing for both of our sakes. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>